Hello, my friends. And I'm making this video to share this information. This is the packet of information I've been giving out to people. The website address is over here, Science Daily. If you could type that in, I'll also give a link to the, at the bottom of this video. So the summary is that copper can effectively help to prevent spread of respiratory diseases, which are linked to severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, and MERS. New research shows animal coronaviruses a jump, such as SARS and MERS, result in severe infections. They found the closely related can remain infectious on common surfaces for days, but is rapidly destroyed on copper. I heard actually Mike Adams uh, yesterday mention this, and I've been telling this information to everybody that I can. So what I've done, the action I've taken, is I had this lying around from uh, Shielding Electronics, uh, copper tape. So I put the two and two together. I started doing Google searches and found that article for all the way from 2015. Apparently these different viruses, they've been around for a while, at least according to that. What I did with this tape, I put this tape on all my doorknobs, on the faucet, on the toilet flush handle. And basically I've been sharing this information that it could be a good idea to put this everywhere. As apparently copper is antimicrobial and these things can't exist on them for more than a few minutes at a time. People are using a lot of things like uh, bleaches and things like this. But what I'm saying is that it's, it's not such a bad thing to do that. But a few minutes after somebody else touches it, uh, you actually have uh, the, the surface infected again. So this is the main article that guy talked about. Human corona remains infectious on common touch surfaces. And this is the website address. So this is actually a 24 page report. What I've been doing is I've been printing out just the first two pages. But the first two pages, you see exposure to copper destroyed viral genomes and irreversibly affected coronavirus, affected virus morphology, including disintegration of envelope and dispersal of surface spikes. So what does that mean? You put this copper on commonly touched handled areas and you um, don't have to really disinfect them because it's auto disinfecting. Yeah, silver is another solution to it as people have been using colloidal silver uh, as uh, an immune booster. So that's my solution I've come to so far. I've shared this with uh, everybody in my building, also with people that I know. I find that it's much easier to share that kind of information, even getting free, giving free things to uh, people that you don't know might be a little tough, but I just handed this packet of information to a woman. She was wearing a respirator mask and she had toilet paper. And I'm like, you're obviously preparing for something. You know, I'm a neighbor, here's the information. You can check it out for yourself. Apparently copper is antimicrobial. And since you're preparing for something, you might want it. So that's the action that I've been taking all day today because we have to take action ourselves. Our communities are for us to protect. And without us going out and researching information, researching solutions. So here's what I'm promoting. I'm promoting that people share these three articles, just print out those pages and have people put the two and two together. Scientific study, bacteria dies in copper, fantastic. Here, here's the copper tape, here's the solution. Here's how you can implement it almost immediately. Nobody really knows about the copper tape and it also kind of makes sense. And it also made me think about what our money system used to be. Our money system used to be gold, silver, and copper. Copper coins, silver is, so silver is antimicrobial, copper is antimicrobial, and we actually had a money system that was self-disinfecting. Gold doesn't disinfect itself, but the thing is gold is only used for large purchases usually, and silver and copper circulates a lot more. It's the currency of the common people, you know, uh, buying groceries, paying for common day expenses. So I urge everybody to share this information and uh, 
share the links, make the comments, and everybody promote this hashtag solutions. Hashtag solutions. If you have an idea, put it out there. Tell us what you've been doing, what kind of actions you've been taking, and what you think are the two and two. And I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Bye-bye.